Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Camera look a little different. Yeah, Ruthie has got my camera right now using it. So I decided to do it with the GoPro. Can't get quite as close or zoom in on anything near as good as I can with the other camera, but we'll give it a shot. Um, turn my phone volume down before it starts to go off, as always. Um, this is a cool haul. Um, cool little haul. Ha ha ha. Pun intended. Um, these are 30 second scale. For the most part, everything is. Oh, I forgot one thing. This is not 30 second scale. I wanted to mention this first. Forgot about it. Sorry. But my friend Tim Ryan up in, I think Tim lives in Massachusetts. Anyway, he was at NNL East and he saw this in Texas built. So, but it's in good shape and it's going to be a, a re, I, I think it might be one of my first rebuilders, but it's a Intex VW Bug. This used to be a Bandai kit. These things are hard to find and expensive, but he found this at NN, NNL East and said that he knew how much it liked Volkswagen. So this is interesting. This is a Super Beetle, Curve Windshield Super, Be Super Beetle. It's right hand drive, but I don't, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, yeah, cool. Thank you, Tim. I appreciate it. And uh, I can't wait to see how that thing looks one day. All right, so 30 second scale, and there's one 148th scale, but back to this. These Lindbergh kits are, I believe pretty much all of them, are um, pyro kits that have been reboxed. So here is a 30 Ford Model A pickup right there, little 30 second scale. Also, I forgot to mention one other thing. The GoPro GoPro battery is like dying, so I got another half dead battery. So when this one dies, I'll put the other half dead battery in if we're not done by then. But yeah, this is a cool little kit. These are you can get these cheap. You can get these really cheap if you want a slump buster, a nice slump buster. Get you a little small scale. Well, it, well, it's a slump buster for sure. But I mean, you won't have any chrome pieces or anything. You got to paint everything. But I, I like them. I think they're neat. But anyway, 30 Ford Model A pickup. I bet on the plastic somewhere is stamped Pyro. Here is a Lifelike Hobbies. I apologize for the glare. These two have wrappers on them. Lifelike Hobby Kits. This would be a Renwall uh, Rebox. 132nd 49 Ford Tudor. And yep. It's lifelike hobbies, but yeah, it would have been a um, Renoir kit. I don't know what how old this thing is. I don't think it's too terribly old, probably out of the 80s. But yeah, this is this is cool. I think I have that kit in Renoir. Yes, I do. It's right here. While I'm letting the battery die, I might as well just go ahead and kill it for sure. So this would be the kit here. Uh, I'm sorry, not Renoir, Palmer. I apologize. I, I didn't even mean uh, Renoir. I meant Palmer the whole time. Sorry. Anyway, Palmer kit. So that uh, this is your reboxed Palmer kits that most people don't like, but well, it's pretty cool to me. So there you go. 49 Ford boxed as lifelike hobbies, but it's really a Palmer kit. All righty. Next. I'm going to show you this. I've had this for quite some time. I forgot to mention it in a haul video. This is a cable. It's a car and it's a model car. Just happens to be a cable car. I've got two of these that are the testers edition, but this is a Hawk. Where's it at? Right there. This is a Hawk model 517-100. This is from 1967. And I just think it's the coolest thing ever. Little uh, street car. Um, I want to actually Heather said might be neat. Maybe she'd like to build one. So that'd be cool. But yeah, 1967 edition of the Hawk 148 scale San Francisco streetcar. Isn't that cool? It's really neat. Like it a lot. I want to build one. I want to build one of the testers. Maybe Heather will build a testers. We'll both build a testers. Everybody build a testers. Just trying to run. All right. So here is an AMT. MGTC in 132nd scale. AM, AMT MGTC. Molded in two colors, so I guess you didn't have to paint it. You just, uh, yeah, there it is. Molded in tan and molded in red. So you didn't have to paint it. It's a little MG. I don't know what year. This is a matchbox, so you can narrow it down from like 19, maybe 1978 to like 1980, one or two. 
Lesney. Didn't own, own AMT very long. Oh, here it is, 77, 79. That was pretty close. But anyway, yeah, little MG. Again, you can get these kits for pretty darn cheap. And uh, this this will be a nicer build here. This AMT kit would have a little more detail. MGTC. One, two, three. All right, here. Let's look at this. Oh, you guys are going to like this one. Z28 Camaro. Cool. It's like an 80, what, 83, 84, something like that. 132nd scale. My monogram. 1981. Oops, this is early. This is like a first, when they first come out with this body style. But anyway, yeah, very cool. Little Z. It's even got an engine and all in it. Should I open it? No, I'll probably do a box opening on it because it's a really cool little kit. Saw that and really wanted it. So, uh, oh, by the way, these all came from eBay. I did not mention that right up front. They came from eBay. There's your hood opening. And yeah, it's got a, it's actually got a detailed engine compartment for one 30 seconds ago. But I got these off eBay. Everything arrived safe and sound. Uh, that doesn't always happen though. Next is a Lindbergh reboxed uh, Pyro of the 36 Ford Roadster. Look at that, isn't that nice? 1986 made and printed in usa copyright 1986 by lindbergh hobbies yeah a little cool little kit 132nd scale 36 ford roadster all one color and got glass huh that's neat check that out i know this isn't very bright i know this camera i don't know how to adjust the lighting on this thing but anyway Cool little kit. All right, so now here is a older version of that kit from Lindbergh still. Let's see what this, if it's got a date, 1980. So here's your 1980 edition of the 36 Ford Roadster by Lindbergh. That's pretty cool. Same exact kit. Let's see. Yep, same car, same kit. And then, what's even neater than that, is here's the pyro edition of the 36 Ford Roadster. This is the original. This is the tabletop series, pyro. Let's see, no dates on pyro stuff, I don't think. This is a C288-50, would have been 50 cents. This is probably out of the 1960s. I have not checked on Scalemates to see what the... Uh, what the date is on this kit, but well, this person really took pride. Yep, the same exact kit, same exact kit. So you see the evolution of how all of these little model kits got passed around. Pyro made them, and then sold them, and then Lindbergh, and then Lindbergh. You know, so they kept going. It's it's really cool, and I think it's really neat that I got all three of these like through the stages of its life. I like that kind of stuff. Alrighty. So, okay, speak of, I keep hitting that. Speaking of Palmer, we have a 32 Chevy, 132nd scale Roadrunner series. Now, remember the other Palmer I just showed you a while ago? Check this out. Road series. It's missing the runner and the dang bird. I think they got like in trouble for maybe copywriting. It was like, Warner Brothers or something probably didn't like the fact that they were using their bird. This kit was 50 cents. This kit, they went up in price. Woo, 60 cents. But anyway, yeah, it's interesting. The newer kit here, uh, they had to take the bird off of it. And it's just a road series with this weird looking wheel that's just all by itself. But that's the way it's supposed to look right there. Suitable for slot car racing. So 32 Chevy. This box is so nice. Uh, kit number 404. Isn't that neat? Palmer Plastics, Brooklyn, New York. I just can't get enough of this old stuff. Love it. I just love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Speaking of old stuff. Well, no. Let me, let me continue on. Let me continue on. Here's a pyro kit. This is a Le Mans Bentley 1930 blower. It seems like I might already have this kit. 
I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm scanning, I'm scanning. You know what it is? No, I can't tell. Yeah, yeah, I do have it. 3460, kit number 343460. I already have this one, so this is the second one. So hey, guess what that means? Yep. Yeah, this is cool. Look, little Le Mans Bentley. It's a glue bomb. I didn't know that. Oh well, good thing I, good thing I probably got it cheap. Oh, it's a huge glue bomb. Never mind. Let's just scratch that. Scratch the idea. I did not see that it was a glue bomb, but it is a glue bomb. I mean, a bomb too. But that's the way it's probably not supposed to look. But it does have extra wheels and things in there and the glasses here. So when I do attempt to build the other one, I guess I got extra parts. Okay, take this one right here and just throw it off to the side. All right, another pyro kit. This is nice. Pierce Arrow, 1932 Pierce Arrow. Ooh, that would have been fancy. We got 11% on the battery. It's not going to be long on me changing it. 32 Pierce Arrow. This is 1965. They have the date down there. You might not can see it, but right there. Pyroplastic, 1965. That's neat. Nice and old. C339-79. So it would have been a 79 cent model. Isn't that nice? Man, this thing is pristine too. I mean pristine. Maybe because people just never even wanted to attempt building them. So they just put them on the shelf. Yeah, these and the boxes were nice and hefty. It has a very rigid box. So I guess they were able to last longer. But yeah, look at that. Isn't that it's a really nice car? Okie dokie. And another pyro. This one is from 1967. Pyro, vintage brass cars. The 1914 Mercer Raceabout. I've got a 1 16th scale Mercer Raceabout. Now this pyro box, this is the vintage brass car or series. It opens like that. So it's a little different from the others. It's got an engine in it. It's got everything. This would be really neat. 1967. Very cool. Pyro. Vintage brass. 1914. Mercer. Race about. We're down to 8% battery life. Don't rush it, Matthew. I'm trying not to. All right. And these are the coolest ever. Some of the oldest model kits that I have. As a matter of fact, I think this next one coming up is going to qualify as the oldest one. This one is from 1953. This is the Highway Pioneers uh, Renault. So it's this Renault limousine right here. That's the one it is. I need to do a box opening on this. It's so cool. Um, this was the foreign model cars. This is Highway Pioneers Series 4. It's the foreign cars. Yeah, man, these are two cool gallon and ga gallon and gallon. Too cool. Love it, love it, love it. And then one last model kit for this haul. I've got 7% battery life. I think we're going to make it. It'll probably just shut down. Is another Highway Pioneer quick construction kit. This is the 1915 Ford Model T sedan. And this one is box is dated copyright 1952 so if this is a 1952 it's definitely the oldest model kit as far as made from plastic that i have that's too cool where's which one is it the which one was it again 1915 model t sedan oh so it's this one here that's nice love it love it love it all right, well, that concludes. I don't think I'm even going to put this one back up here like as part of the collection. But that concludes this model haul with 6% battery life yet left. Um, I really enjoy collecting model cars. I do enjoy building model cars too. But collecting them, and man, they're just the, learning about some of the history and things like that about, about these model kits and stuff is just, I don't know, man. I think that's the neatest thing ever. Anyway, I got a little haul here. It doesn't take up much space. Maybe you can collect a lot of 132nd scale stuff and uh, save a lot of space. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate your support. Don't forget to go check out HobbyNutModels.com, linked in the description below. The Facebook group, Model Car Videos Facebook group, also linked in the description, as well as the, the Spring Store. Grab yourself a t-shirt or a coffee mug or a sticker with Model Car Videos logo on it. 
and to my Patreon members. Guys, thank you so much. Most importantly, though, you that are watching this video, I really appreciate you spending your time um, in front of your computer or phone or television and taking the time to watch this. I, tr I truly do appreciate that. So with all that said, down to 4% battery life. I think we're going to do it. Guys, take care. Uh, let me know. What's your oldest model kit? I know we did a video on that, but hey, in the comments, let me know. Do you have anything older than 1952? If you do, I want to know about it. All right, guys. Take care. See you. Bye.